Hope you're gonna be students to today's workout. My name is Justin, and we're gonna be doing a back workout today. So it's a back workout. Well, back is biceps, abs, and triceps. All right, we're gonna do five exercises for, for biceps. Five for abs, five for triceps, and then we're gonna go to another step. Five for biceps, five for abs, five for triceps. All right, so uh, what equipment do you need? You need your water, you need a towel. Other than that, uh, you will need a set of dumbbells. Everything else that I have out is absolutely optional, okay? Push-up board, you don't necessarily need a push-up board. Uh, we're gonna be doing some push-ups today at diamond uh, grip, so close hand. You don't need a push-up board for that, but I prefer to use one. I uh, also have these uh, kettlebells. The only thing I'm using them for are tricep dips. So if you have a chair, a couch, the edge of a table, uh, a weight bench, you can use any of those things for your tricep dips. Worry about that whenever we get to it. All right, so this is what I have my setup as today. As far as timing, okay, or reps. We're not counting reps today, and we're not looking at this as a hip class specifically. What we're doing is 30 seconds of work, we'll take a little break, 30 seconds of work, take a little break. We're not timing our breaks, just working through 30 seconds of each exercise. Okay, now if you are limited on your weight set, all right, I'm gonna try to limit my weights to 30 pounds and 25 pounds. Um, so try to work around there as far as your weight limits because you're gonna be doing bicep curls, tricep kickbacks, overhead extensions, things of that nature. So be prepared with the weight. Now you can just go through the entire workout with one set or one weight specifically. So if you're 25 pounds is your weight, you have the 25 pound set of dumbbells, work with that throughout, not a big deal. If you have 30s, work with that, not a big deal. You may have some trouble on your tricep kickbacks. I don't know you, so you have to work with yourself there and figure that out. Um, if you have, I'm using selectable weights where I just kind of twist to get the weight that I want. Uh, that's highly recommended. Otherwise, if you're in a gym or you have a selection of dumbbells to pick from, absolutely, you're, you're in a great place. Uh, your apartment gym, something like that, where again, you have a selection of weights to choose from. Get two sets of something that you can work with, all right? So again, I'm gonna try to keep it between two weights, okay? So like 25 and 30 pounds are gonna be my weights. Maybe 20 and 30, something like that. So again, just kind of know yourself, know your body, know what you're gonna be able to do for each of these workouts or for each of these exercises, okay? Exercise will be at the bottom of the screen. We'll get some music going and we'll get ready to start on the warm up, okay? So let me get my timer going. All right, let's go start with some jumping jacks. Ready? Let's go. Breath in, relax out, 
and relax. Good, let's do that one more time, ready? Press. And relax, good. All right, shake that out a little bit. All right, let's take your right arm, come across your body in front, stretching out that shoulder again. Also stretches out your back a little bit here. Good, I'm gonna hold any stretches for too long. Other side. Very good. Again, warming up here, you don't wanna hold these stretches, all right? You wanna be dynamic with these stretches. Don't hold anything for too long, okay? Let's go ahead and pull back, and then come back to the middle, and stretch our chest. We go low, we go back to the middle, here we go high. Again, you should feel your shoulder blades coming apart, and you should be squeezing your chest here, and then stretch it out, and relax. Very good. All right, so we're gonna be using our wrists a lot, picking up these weights. So let's go ahead and stretch out our wrist, just pushing in here, doing our left hand, so it's stretching down like this. And now we're gonna turn it over, just like this, and pull down. Good. All right, now I'm gonna point my fingers to you, you point your fingers to me, and we're gonna pull back like this. Again, this is still just stretching out the left wrist, the left hand. We're gonna repeat everything on the right side. Ready? Push it down. Turning it over. Fingers pointing straight. And relax. Shake it out, shake out your wrists. All right, so again, like I said, 30 seconds for each exercise. I'm gonna to try to use my timer here. If this doesn't work, I'll grab my other timer. We should be good to go here. Uh, so 30 seconds, you're gonna be prompted with some beeps. And a countdown of three, two, one, you'll hear the beeps, three, two, one, start. You'll hear another beep when we're finished that 30 seconds. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a twisting bicep curl. So again, starting off with the B, B-A-T, biceps. All right, twisting curl, wide curl, we're gonna do a curl, and we're gonna do concentration right and left, okay? Um, all right, so grab your dumbbells, pick your weight, all right? Again, for, for the dump, for um, curls, standard curls, wide curls, any kind of twisting curl, I'm gonna go for the heaviest weight I can because that's typical for your biceps, all right? So I'm gonna go for 30 pounds for these. And these are alternating, okay? So, get ready. We're gonna hit the start button. Get our countdown. Grab your weight. Don't worry about counting reps. Just go for 30 seconds. And twist. So, down. There you go, twist it. All right, two weeks down, take a quick break. If you need water, you can either pause the video or just stop and grab water, all right? I'm not gonna prompt you to get water. If you need water, grab water as you need, okay? Don't wait, do it whenever you need water. Again, don't deprive yourself of hydration throughout this workout, okay? We're not gonna take too much time between um, exercises. So let's go ahead and get right back into um, wide curls, okay? Grab your weights. Wide curl, same time. Wide out, good. Number one. Remember to breathe. Down. Take a break. All right. Next 
up is hammer curls. All right, typically I would drop down to maybe 25 pounds here, but just to keep from changing weight too much, as I said at the beginning, if you can pick two weights, try to stick with two weights. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to stick with 30 pounds and go for the hammer curl. If it's difficult, let it be difficult, okay? That's what you're going for. Strength and surprise. You're trying to surprise these muscles and build strength, okay? Take a quick breath here. Ready? All right. And let's go. So hammer curl. So on your body, on your arms, your elbows tucked in tight. Hit start. Try to keep them tucked in throughout the exercise. Okay, don't come out to the side. Keep everything tucked in and tight. Ready? I like to rest them on my thighs right here. So bring it up. concentration curl so I want you to do your best here typically you want to have something to sit on so if you have a chair a couch a table go to that down all right I'm going to grab my bench all right so concentration curls it's done right inside the visual okay your arms should be tucked in. Okay, your elbows should be resting on the inside of your leg here. And you're thinking just like a thinking man. Right? Pulling up like this. Okay? That's right side. Same thing. Alternate. Here on the left. 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Get your weight. Let's get ready to go. Slow, don't throw your weight. Right and left. 
Ready? Hands can go wherever you want. Knees up. Down. Back up. Down. Back up. Good. Feel your core tight. Feet on the floor, all set with that one. Next up is a reverse curl, all right? You don't need to take too much time in between here. I'm gonna move down a little bit. I just wanna to try to stay as centered as I can in the frame here. All right, so we're reverse crunch, okay? Uh, that means you're gonna bring your legs up instead of your body, okay? Ready? Get your hands where you feel comfortable. One, don't worry about count here, but that's what your rep should look like. Tightening that core. Very good. Up. Get a reset. All right, next up, flutter kicks. All right, again, not gonna take too much time for an exercise. Just gonna get right into the next exercise. All right, ready? Flutter kicks, you know what flutter kicks are. You know what they look like. Put your hands where you're comfortable and get ready. And go. Your core tight. Great. Feet flat. Reset. All right, next up is a cross crunch punch. Okay? You're going to come up, punch left, punch right. Back down. Up, punch left, punch right, right left, whatever you want to do. Double punch, go back down. Okay? And let's go. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Up, one, two. Arms going right out of your knees. Get a little bit of a twist in there. Control your Abduction and your adduction. Very good. All right, reset. Last thing we're gonna do is a hip lift, okay? So just like flat on your back, lifting your hips up, feet flat on the floor. Ready? Get in a good position. My feet are flat on the floor. I'm gonna put my hands out to the side. Push-ups. 
So if you have a push-up board and you want to use it, now is the time. I'm going to go ahead and get mine set up for diamonds. I'm going to go close. Okay, just like that. If you want to do it with your hands flat, you can do like this on the floor with your hands. Push up that way. Okay, I'm just doing it here. Loose my hands close together. Just like you would for a diamond pad. Okay, this would be the diamond. The difference is I'm right here. Okay, that's our first exercise. We're going to do some kickbacks with the weights, so be prepared for that. Extensions, okay, up over your head, right with both arms, right, Nick Skull Crusher. That's our tricep workout. And then we're going to go back to the B and start fresh with something new. Okay, we're not repeating the same five exercises, we're doing five new exercises. All right, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Let's go. Diamond push ups. Again. kickback, right side, grab your weight accordingly. I'm going to drop down to a 20 for my kickback. Again, this is the right only, so I'll turn this way for you. Right kickback, 30 seconds, left kickback, 30 seconds. All right, ready? Bring it to your shoulder. Take it back and repeat.
here doing skull crushers. I'm not going to change the weight. Keep the weight the same. On your backs, weight is coming in just like this. Okay? Let's grab the towel back on the floor. Got a couple seconds here. Let us reset. Get down on the floor. Again, on that first beat is when I like to be prepped for the exercise. When you hear that first beat, that's when you should have the weight in position, ready to go. Okay, just keep that in mind going forward. This is the last exercise of the T before we start the BAT over again. Ready? Down and up. Good. Keep your elbows staying straight up. And only thing bending is your elbows. Weight should come down to your nose or your forehead. Okay, so that's called the skull crusher. Drop that weight is going to crush your skull. Good. All right, now we're back to biceps. Okay, so adjust your weight accordingly. Go. Set my weight down, bring the towel. Alright, let me give you the rundown for the BAT. Or for the B, sorry. Alright, we're going circle curls. Alright, then we're going cross body curls. Then we're going negative curls. We're going to slump down. Iso hold curls, and then standard bicep curls. Then we're going to hit the end. Okay? All right, let's reset. Get ready for the circle bicep curls. All right, if you don't know what that is, you'll catch on after the first one. Ready? Up, down, around. coming straight up here, okay, you're going across your body as much as you can. I know it can be a little awkward depending on what kind of dumbbells you have, so just be aware. Ready? Cross body. Start high, go down, slow. You might get three reps here, okay? Maybe take about 10 seconds for each rep. Go down, pull back up. Down slow, pull back up, okay? 30 seconds, shoot for three to four reps, all right? Ready? Weight's neutral. Ready? Starting position. And go. Drop them slow. Up normal. Drop them slow. Up 
up. Down. All right, good job. Put them down, reset. Neck, I'm oh, sorry, uh, ISO hold. Okay, so one arm holding, up, back to hold, up, down, hold, up, down, hold. Okay, ready? Wait, neutral position, ready? Up, down, hold. Up, down, hold. Repeat. All right, good job. Have one more exercise for our last B. Okay, grab your towel if you need it. One standard bicep curls. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. If you want to go alternating, alternate. If you want to go the same time, go the same time. I'm going to combine the two. Okay, your choice here, just do standard bicep curls. 30 seconds. Ready? All right, hopefully your biceps are burning. Ready? Weights up, neutral position. right and left. All right, that's our five exercises for abs. Go ahead and reset. Get ready. L, set, alternating, toe touch. Good job. All right, next up, 
is our eagles. Okay. Again, we're not going to take too much of a break. Take a quick breather here. Again, probably don't have enough time for water or towel. Just enough time to take a couple good deep breaths. Get ready for our eagles. All right, eagles, knees up, feet up. Okay, hands over your head, coming down. Okay, like your wings are flat. Okay, ready? Here, 
<laughs> get my towel on the floor again. Okay. All right. Narrow press. Our arms are close to our body. And fists pushing up. Right? It's not a wide chest press. Your elbows and biceps are next to your body. You're pushing up. Okay? Ready?
second Uber right here. I'm gonna repeat that. Just give me a little more time. All right. Let's come back to center here. Still breathing. Slowing that heart rate down. Very good. All right, let's shake out our arms. We did a lot of bicep, tricep work today. The arms are probably a little tight. Maybe a little soap, maybe a little water, all right? All right, shake that out. Good. Let's do some torso twists. Thank you for joining me for this back workout. My name is Justin. We'll see you in the next video.